Now, XXX Tentacion is one of those artists that I like to describe as depression's worst enemy. The way X approaches making his music and the way he connects with his fans through his art makes him nothing but a straight up nightmare for depression. Now, when I look at X, I see an artist that stands for something in a culture where it's now cool to not stand for anything. Although hip hop in 2018 is far from dead as far as music goes, because there's still a lot of great music out there, I truly believe that if hip hop is gonna be considered dead, then it might be dead in the personality aspect. Aspect, meaning that there's not a whole lot of artists in hip-hop right now that have such an intriguing persona apart from the music they make. And XXXTentacion is one of those people that falls into the category of being that interesting character that you don't support only because of their good music, but you also support them because you like them as a person. Now, cult fan bases in hip-hop is starting to become more and more normal. We have an artist like X and then we have an artist like Logic who both share the same similarities when it comes to their fan bases. They both have a cult fan base and there's something interesting about seeing two artists like Logic and X who both are completely different but they've still managed to attract the same type of people as fans. I would personally call someone like X the savior for the lost souls of this generation because seeing someone who's very much unlike you who's not cut from a different cloth be embraced by so many people makes you realize that you yourself still have a chance to be accepted by people. That's what X is doing for his fan base, and people still wonder why so many people love him. I think there's a difference between just being open about your struggles as a human being and deciding to open yourself up so much and be so vulnerable that you take the chance of being hated, you take the chance of having people speak badly about your entire name and career, just to relate to the kid in his room who's a fan of your music and is listening to your 17 album because he's healing through your music. Do not live your life trying to impress someone else and do not live your life trying to be someone you're not and do not live your life making yourself miserable just to amount to someone else's idealism. Now, I've personally always said that X is the definition of an emotional human being. There's been times where his feelings get the best of him and he said some inappropriate things about Drake, and then there's other times when he's used the anger that's coming out of him to do what he's best at doing, which is make music. Girl, that you fuck with, kill yourself. That was this summer and nobody helped. And ever since then, when I hate myself, when the fuck it ended. One thing you can learn from X and the way he handles his sadness is that he's very open about the fact that his demons are constantly coming for him. And instead of holding in all those feelings, X often goes on his songs and speaks about those things publicly, which further makes more people gravitate towards him as a person and not only his music. It's often nowadays that we see rappers who are too insecure to discuss what they're going through because they don't want their own fans seeing them as weak. You probably have a certain type of image in your head about your favorite rapper, and if there's an inconsistency in that image, you're never gonna see them the same way you did before. Now I want you to think about this and envision what I'm gonna say next like it's really happening. So you wake up one day, go on Instagram, and you see a video of Lil Pump crying. So you're probably wondering where I'm going with this, and I promise you'll understand exactly what I mean in just a second. After you see the video of Lil Pump crying, you find out that he was crying because he's feeling very emotional and just wanted to let go for a second. As sad and bad as it sounds, most people would make fun of Lil Pump just for the sole purpose that it's not a human being crying, but it's actually Lil Pump. The way Lil Pump has presented himself to the public makes it not okay for him to express whatever type of demeanor we as people consider weak just because there's no correlation between Lil Pump being an emotional person. He doesn't talk about his feelings or something as serious as depression in his music or in general at all. Now let's connect this to XXXTentacion. Although there is a very reckless side to X and everyone knows this, we also know that he is in fact an emotional character and won't hesitate on speaking of the time he wanted to commit suicide because fame was overwhelming him. And on the other hand, if a video of X ever comes out of him crying and expressing his emotions to the world, the general response will be people supporting him because that's just the way X is wired and we all know this. No sane human being with a conscience will ever make fun of someone who we all know struggle with dark thoughts such as feeling like they're not enough or wanting to end their life. And this is exactly the place someone like X is in. He's approached his career in such a way where people now go to him as a way to cleanse their mind of negativity. He releases a song like Sad where he's telling the 
listener that he said and he knows it and he talks about it from a very serious place and the entire world embraces what he's talking about because they know it's real. XXXTentacion is depression's worst enemy just because he's openly telling the world that it's okay to be broken and it's okay to be lost. And no matter what you're going through, make it known to everyone around you through your own art that you are indeed going through hard times and no matter what, at the end of the day, you're still gonna come out stronger than ever. Now, what do you personally have to say about this whole topic surrounding XXXTentacion and depression? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about X. But as always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about bringing together people like you who enjoy music and start a discussion on different topics like this. And of course, like the video if you enjoyed it, follow me on all my social media accounts. It's on the screen and I'm out.